the resurrected power of our Lord and Savior who is resident in us. As we climb into greater obedience, give us greater power to resist the enemy. As we climb, O oh Lord God, Father, let the enemy flee from us. We are your representative on this earth. And as we climb into new dimensions of faith, hallelujah. Oh God, we worship with thanksgiving that we, all evil, shall flee from us, that no evil shall befall us, neither shall sickness touch us, because you have given your mighty angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways as we climb. We worship you because they will bear us up. Hallelujah. Lest we dash our feet upon a stone. We worship you as we climb into a new dimension. Oh God, a new dimension of faith, a new dimension of peace, a new dimension of love, a new dimension of understanding, a new dimension of wisdom in the body of Christ to bring the souls of those who do not know you into a safe place in Jesus. Jesus. We thank you. We give thanks and worship because you have given power to your people. We are your representative ambassadors on this earth to speak with authority on this earth so that the kingdom will be made manifest in our lives uh, by signs and wonders and miracles as evidence uh, that demands a verdict that Jesus is alive and well. He is here in our hearts. Uh, hallelujah. And soon will be seen in the flesh because he is coming again. He is coming again. He is coming again. In like manner as the disciples then saw him go, so too those of us who are alive will see him come again. In the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, Lord, you have been good to us. You have spoken in time. And we are in the meantime, as we wait for the fullness of time as we climb, we declare that good news good news is here jesus is alive the gospel is the good news ah lord his birth his death his resurrection and return hallelujah is imminent in the meantime oh god we seek your face as we climb give us grace and strength to hold fast hold fast stand still and see the salvation of god Hold fast our profession of faith and occupy, occupy. He said to us to occupy until he comes. Occupy in every dimension. Occupy in good works. Occupy in speaking faith. Occupy in growing in grace. Occupy in love. Climb, climb. Your feet are shed. Your feet, our feet, shed with the preparation of the gospel of peace until we see Christ face to face. Amen. Climb, saints. Climb. Sometimes the shoes might seem as though they're getting worn off, but they're not getting worn off. They're not getting worn off. Just remember the Israelites leaving Egypt. Their clothes did not wear out. Don't be weary in well-doing. Don't be weary in well-doing. God bless us all. Season after season, year after year, day after day, let's remain climbing. Jesus is Lord, and he is soon coming for the world to see we have seen him we know him he's in our hearts but the world will see and know and we will see him face to face god bless we are climbing we are we're climbing, climbing. jacob's ladder jacob's ladder we are we're climbing, climbing, climbing up. A stalwart, a pioneer, a broadcaster for over 30 years, Dr. Margaret Elcock, the first woman to pioneer the very first gospel radio station in Trinidad and Tobago. She received the Hummingbird Medal Silver in 2010 for a contribution to the local broadcast industry. 
With changing economic times, the financial support of the Christian community is becoming more relevant. Finances are vital to enable ISAC to continue fulfilling its mandate locally, regionally, and internationally. The ISAC Fund is to allow local, regional, and international supporters to provide financial support to ISAC 98.1 FM and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission globally. When you support the ISAC Fund, you will receive discounts on all FBN products such as FBN Studios, Promise Store, Events, Isaac's Corporate Advertising Packages, plus a quarterly newsletter update on FBN's activities. You receive an annual thank you token and automatically join our radio birthday and anniversary club. Call and find out about our packages and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission. I support the Isaac Fund. I support the Isaac Fund. Call Helena at 357. 4075 Wendy or Kieran at 662-8981 Monday to Friday between the hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Be a part. Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. It is 13 minutes after the hour of three inside hour number one. Of course, you're locked on to Isaac 98.1 FM. As we continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, we uh, teased you earlier on we continue to chat with some special guests. Of course, one of our special guests, uh, he started off on Isaac 98.1 FM uh, doing the drive time. And I like to call him an extra special guest. Extra special guest? Special for various reasons. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy always when you're to say that. Introduce him. Introduce That's him. my boy, friends. You know the voice. The, the voice of God. I like to call him. He has a nice deep voice and we miss him a lot from, you know him from Yada with Madonna? Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. He's back in the building. Yeah. The man called Dyer Utley. Good afternoon, Dyer. What, what, what's up, Alan? <laughs> what's up, Mickey? Good afternoon, sir. How are you all doing, guys? Uh, holding on, being good strong. Enough. How are you? Yeah. Well, very good uh, considering all things. Um, a, a sad moment to be coming back nonetheless to... Yeah be speaking with you guys and connecting with my family at Isaac's man and um, definitely you know it's it's been a good time nevertheless you know yeah. making the best out of, of things inside of the pandemic mm-hmm. 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 so it's good to hear you know to see you coming back in and as I like you said you know uh, under sad circumstances however yeah. uh, we we touch and base with all our uh, past students of the <laughs> if you want to ask students Alan, Alan would say, you never taught me well not me but you would have learned Alan certainly you, you would have learned from Mrs. E you know yes you, exactly yes, so okay. all her past students is okay. in oh, this day okay. you see he's, he's gifted in a day yeah, 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 I'm not a swinger I don't know to... our past students so I was confused <laughs> yeah yeah yes, which so, includes yourself you of know, course so. I am well I'm well yeah <laughs> so <Alan>. you know <laughs> He needs to behave. Don't worry. We we have the anointing oil so, around here. So so we're gonna deal with impossible, him. Mickey, it's almost impossible, Mickey. It's almost impossible. It's gonna be like that's water like, skating off a dashing like leaf. Then a cow to sit on a wire and whistle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. So we got uh, Dia Oddly on the inside. Dia, share with us um, uh, some of the memories that you have of Mrs. E working alongside her, and uh, you know, even personally, how how the things that she did ministered and touched your lives. Well, I mean, Mickey boy, if I, if I could uh, if I could just quickly talk about how I I literally came to encounter Mrs. E. She she had a friend who um, was looking for voices. Uh, well, she was looking for voices, and she had a friend who said, "There's a young man that I know, and I could I could talk to him about this." So this lady is Andrea Hanna. Uh, she was a member of the board as well, mm-hmm. and um, she is a friend of the family. So she she actually approached me and said, "You know, um, Mrs. Elcock is looking for some people. Can you put together a demo?" And it happens that I had just completed a course with a man man by the name of Eugene Manuel. Uh, he worked at TBC, and. Uh, and so I put together news and announcing and some radio ads and so on that I had done from before. And I submitted it and I never did read you before anything. And she just said, you know, I think I want to use your voice. Now this was probably a year before the session even started. Yeah. And a year later, she sought me out. I was working and she said, I really would like you. And everybody knows Mrs. E from the time you sit down and you have that conversation with her. You feel her warmth. You felt, you know, her her energy, her sincerity, and um, it was very hard to say. Nah, it's okay. I mean, it was really very, very um 
tempting and mm-hmm. I was just waiting for the call when the station was ready to start and and well yeah the rest is history I guess I I remember the days of actually being in the building that was Woodford Street high up when the station was now getting ready to launch and and on August the 31st 2002 you know we were ready to go live on the air there were promotions teasing people you know and and it was it was exciting to just for her to allow me and trust me with no resume of of or history of experience just simply and that's the kind of person she was she'll just say hey go ahead and do it yeah you know just give you a shot and and give you encouragement to see how you do and i think she did that and as many people would have said you know she has been like a mother to so many people from the point of view of really uh, encouraging you and seeing potential and talent inside of you and literally just fueling that by giving you opportunities. Mm-hmm. And, but one uh, and- one thing I would I would love to believe, and uh, I I think uh, it, it 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 were it pertains to me as well. Um, she would always seek the direction and 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 uh, the the peace of God whenever bringing anybody on board. Absolutely. Yeah. Even Alan. Even Alan. Listen to me. Yeah, I think God would speak before even I. About Alan, I, I think God spoke fasted. me for. I remember she fasted for a week. And oh my was, God! Was, was, I needed to hear from. What did I, he just say? Yeah, I think I think it was the other. I think it was a different scenario when it comes to me. I think God says, "This is your beloved son. Mm-hmm. Hear ye him." That I think that's what God would have put me to. I think the discussion would be quite different when it comes to me. You understand that? So don't don't, don't put me on there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, but yeah, certainly that was very true, Mickey. And not everybody would have been someone that she wanted. She had a particular vision for what the people she wanted on her station. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a, a certain type and frequency that she wanted. Mm-hmm. And that's something that you know she always echoed. She yeah. always would speak about the sound, the sound, the, the sound. sound. And and that is something that we know that that lived in her heart like like literally uh, and she like would remind baby. us from time to time oh, the station is birthed definitely. in prayer yeah nice that's right yeah. that's right um ever so often man and those are really fond memories and i really appreciated those and uh, you know i i also really appreciate her her allowing me and giving me the opportunity to hold on for her on mornings in the early yes. days yes you did i mean that was that was i mean like me really i mean mm-hmm. wow that was like you know because special... thinking about it it's big shoes to fill having to it hold is. on in, in any of mrs e's shift yes indeed that's right yeah and and so i guess the first day she just you know schooled me told me what to do and um, really helped me as i said it was the first time out in radio and um and it, it really also facilitated me to meet so many other announcers everybody has a different style and genre and and so learning how to to mix music from mickey mix music from mickey um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mix and, yeah. and, but, i'm not a dj but you mm-hmm. know still little mm-hmm. tips and mm-hmm. so on so it also facilitated what, what was your name big d that no, was your I name? No name i had no name, I had no name. <laughs> <laughs> the big D.O. Alan, Alan. <laughs> DJ D.O. is in the Alan. building. Big Doo? Big Doo? Big Doo. Well, yeah, Daya's my boy. Well, yeah, so don't get between me and my boy. We, we, we have a special thing going on. But Daya, I'm glad to touch based on, on, on you know, being able to, to, to hold the reins in her stead. What other opportunities you saw coming through FBN that you would have get, gotten the experience through Dr. Margaret Elcock? Boy, everything. Um, I must say, because it's about 15 years there, um, so the, when the station started, she even trusted me to start the production department at that time because there was nobody. And then, of course, um, the, the real skillful editors like Mickey and Marcus came on afterwards to, to take things over. But, but there was no one. And so people did a lot of doubling up, you know. Wow. Um, so to kind of start things off and to help edit programs because I had a little, little bit of experience with editing. And of course, then we realized, okay, we need somebody, with some people with some real skills. So of course, Marcus Romero came in and Mickey came in. And um, these guys are the real skillful masters with producing ads. They will produce an ad with their eyes closed. Um, so You know, what, that came as like second nature quality. to me. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That doesn't speak to the quality. Not saying that when they did it with their eyes closed that the adult song scrambled. I mean, <laughs> they, did it, they did a good job with their eyes closed. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it really, that production um, did some IT with the, with the organization until, of course, so there were many different um, areas that, that through the years that Mrs. Z really allowed and trusted. You also just, dabbled in sales a bit as well, right? Sales. Uh, with and branding as well. Branding, yeah. yeah. So well, you're Mr. FB, you're Mr. FBN himself. You're like, yeah. Um, Jesus. That's why I see us too. That you see what I mean, but you're Mr. FBN. You're Mr. Isaac. You know what I'm saying? Well-rounded <laughs> individual. I realize it's three minutes to news time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to jump off things. like that, don't you? If you're I bright. know that I have to wrap up, and you know, <laughs> but um, but. <laughs> <laughs> It was good guys connecting and, and we really continue to celebrate the legacy that, that um, Mrs. Elcock, Mrs. Z as we call her, um, left behind and certainly, hopefully, will continue to build upon that. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. We really appreciate you, Daya, for dropping by and, you appreciate know, you all sentiments, too, man. man. Well, it's good yeah. to hear from you, bro. Anything else you need to touch on as we look to wrap up, man? I just going to say you listen to Isaac 98.1 FM. Ah, That's what I'm boy. talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Do in the building. DJ Do <laughs> has done his dead. Yeah, Did his done and he's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dia man. Blessings, Thanks, Dia. Blessings, All right, to you. guys. Yeah, bro. So that was a man, Dia Otley, uh, sharing with us uh, his memories being here at Isaac 98.1 FM and, of course, working alongside very closely with uh, Dr. Margaret Elcock. Yeah, man. Yeah, well yeah, rounded. Yeah. I mean, you know, being able to get all that opportunity mm -hmm. and that experience, you know, he could actually go and say, I've, he had a wealth of experience from FBN and could go anywhere in the world with this resume, you know. Right. You understand? Yeah. Saying that, you know, he comes from a background of not necessarily having a resume mm -hmm. to bring him in, mm -hmm. but just the talent that he had. Yeah. And Dr. E saw the talent and said, we could use this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, let's, let's, let's harness this a little bit more, build on it. Yeah. And he grew. And so many other, um, so many other announcers slash workers, mm -hmm. because as you see, a lot of doubling up was taking place at a point in time. Yeah, she would have had to have that discernment to say he must come. This one, this one must yeah. go. This one is the one to do this, and then you know, I and you know that that's a that's a leaving yourself open to that to the direction of God. Yep, uh, choosing the right people. Yep. They may not on paper have the qualifications but they would be the right people at the right time and that's and that's a, to that's, get the vision and that's fulfilled. a prayer must have before coming into the game you know? yes you can't now go need the person and then pray that to me yeah, say, yeah, Lord, yeah 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 show me who's the right people in the lord yeah bring the right people to me expose me to the right people mm -hmm. that's a prayer must have long before getting involved in the game so that when the opportunity hits you could clearly hear god say him yeah, yep 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 mickey yep. You understand? So, you know, really thank God for the guys and girls that allowed themselves to be, avail themselves to the call as uh, Dr. Margaret herself would have, you know, been the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. So keep it locked on. We've got your 4 p.m. news coming up in a bit with Mr. Stephen Cummings. And a little later on, we are going to be chatting with a couple more special guests. We've got Fern Chase. We've got uh, Natasha Dillian Kelly. And uh, you know what? We're going to try to open the lines a little later on for the public to get in, all right? Keep it locked on right here. Isaac 98.1 FM. We continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock. from 105 Woodford Street, Newtown, Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Your number one source for local, regional and international news on Isaac 98.1 FM. This is the 4 p.m. News. And in the headlines at 2, 4 o'clock, Haitian President Jovenel Moise killed in an attack at home. Labor unions threatened massive street demonstrations post-pandemic and post-state of emergency and internationally Taliban battle their way into western Afghan city.
With the news in detail to 4 o'clock, I'm Stephen Cummings. Good afternoon. The government of Trinidad and Tobago in a statement issued today says it is shocked at what it describes as a tragic development in Haiti with the assassination of the president of Haiti, Jovenel Moise, earlier this morning. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley offered this country's condolences to the family of President Moise and to the government and people of Haiti. The Prime Minister said Trinidad and Tobago pledges to work together with our CARICOM colleagues and other hemispheric and international partners to support Haiti at this very difficult time. Meanwhile, information reaching our newsroom indicate that Haiti's President Jovenel Moise was killed and his wife injured in an attack on their home in the nation's capital, Port-au-Prince. A report says unidentified gunmen stormed the property during the early hours of this morning. Mr. Moise had led Haiti, one of the poorest nations in the world, since 2017 but had faced widespread protests demanding his resignation. He has called for calm and declared a state of emergency nationwide. The nation's recent history has been plagued by coups, political instability and widespread gang violence. And we have more from the editor-in-chief of an online news agency in Haiti who spoke with DW News. And he also sent out to, according to the Prime Minister, he gave an interview uh, at a radio station and he also sent out a press release uh, this morning at 1 a.m. Um, a commando with people in it who spoke English and Spanish. These people attacked the residence of the president and uh, during this attack, um, the president was killed. His wife is uh, was injured, and she is uh, in a critical condition at at the hospital right now. Okay, so I'm repeating uh, a human rights organization a lawyer. We are in a state of confusion right now in Haiti. Uh, the country is mainly controlled by group of armed gangs. Um, and some of these gangs were allegedly having ties to the government. Um, the government was, uh, is, I mean, is contested by a large part of the opposition. Um, and they were trying to organize elections um, and change the constitution, which is illegal uh, as well. And Jacqueline Charles, the Haitian and Caribbean correspondent for the Miami Herald, spoke with the BBC. She was asked about Prime Minister Joseph and if he was stepping in to take charge of Haiti. Well, this is the problem. There is constitutionally no answer for what's happening right now. This is a president who had just a few more months left on his term. Claude Joseph has not been ratified by parliament. He is an acting interim prime minister who technically is a resigned prime minister because just this week, President Jovenel Moise named a new prime minister that he was supposed to swear in in the next couple of days. So Haiti is in between governments, both of which are de facto. There are people who are going to say that even the name of either of these guys was not legal because there's an argument among some constitutional experts in opposition that President Jovenel Moise's presidential term ended on February 7th of this year. Now Moise himself has argued otherwise, but just to also give you just the more chaos. I mean, even the president of the Supreme Court, we don't have one. He died last week of COVID-19. So, you know, there are versions in the Constitution that says if the president is not there, if he leaves or he dies, you tap the president of the Supreme Court or you tap the oldest member of the Supreme Court. Well, that gentleman is now heading up a transition shadow government that was named by the opposition earlier this year. So legally, constitutionally, you know, who's in charge? There is not an answer. How long is Claude Joseph going to be able to hold the wheel steady in this country that is very volatile, that is already undergoing multi-pronged crisis? We just don't know. Jacqueline Charles, the Haitian and Caribbean correspondent for the Miami Herald. Members of the Oilfield Workers Trade Union are threatening massive street demonstrations once the state of emergency is over and pandemic has eased to allow for return to a semblance of public gathering. President General of the Joint Trade Union Movement, Ansel Roger, responded yesterday during a press conference to what he said continues to be an attack on the trade union movement. So they're performing badly long before COVID hit our shores, but COVID is being played. And they use the state of emergency to keep people in check. So we cannot be in the streets right now. We cannot do the traditional things, use the traditional tools that we would normally use that was successful in the past and certainly will be successful in the future, but we can't use it right now. 
But to honor that, I say that the state of emergency must come to an end. We're not going to. The pandemic must come to an end. I'm going to. And when that time comes, when that time comes, rest assured, the whole of it to you and the trade union movement, we will be back on the streets doing the things that we do that are successful and quite a lot more. Mr. Roger spoke of what the labor unions see as poor economic management and pending high prices for goods and services, along with increase in the price of fuel. And it's COVID time and it's state of emergency time, and therefore people cannot react, they cannot respond, they cannot protest and so on. So more hardship to the, the population. And while this occurs, bear in mind Trinidad and Tobago. Before you take up the gun to shoot the messenger, bear in mind while all of this occurred, no less than five government ministers within the last year would have what purchased new vehicles, high-end vehicles. President General of the Joint Trade Union Movement, Ansel Roger. As the week goes on, celebration of the life and achievements of FBN founder Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock continue with more persons sharing their special memories. Kirby Jackson, a former FBN employee and former lead editor of the once FBN Vision magazine, spoke this morning. Mr. Jackson said Dr. Alcock was one who entrusted leadership to others. One of the things I, I, I posted on my Facebook page when she died was that I, you know, people don't understand leadership. Mrs. Alcock, at the time, we're talking 26, 27 years ago, put a budget of back then 30, 14, maybe 50, I can't remember the exact amount, say uh, let's average about 40,000, 50,000 dollars a month in the hands of two 19 year olds. I was the editor of Division and her daughter Marissa Elcock was the co-editor. Yes, we had other people involved. We had Christian Printry who was doing the printing, um, Dave Bostick. We had Marlon Nichols, who was the creative director as it relates to graphics and, and that stuff. And she, she never micromanaged. Kirby Jackson, a former FBN employee and former lead editor of the once FBN Vision magazine, speaking this morning. And Nurse Merle Ali, one of the early contributors to the once FBN Vision magazine, was also interviewed. She spoke of her interaction. She encouraged me to do a number of things that I never imagined, and I will never forget that. I mean, we were involved in the Fresh Fire program, we were involved in many interviews and on radio programs, and then with a vision magazine, I was one of the columnists with chatting with Nurse Ali, and it was all because of our dearly beloved sister Margaret. Mrs. Mel Ali. Stay tuned to Isaac via radio, online, or our social media platforms as we continue to celebrate the life of Reverend Dr. Margaret Helcock. And in some international news now, the Taliban briefly entered a key city in western Afghanistan as they pursue a rapid advance before NATO troops leave. The local governor told journalists that government officials had been moved to a nearby army base as the militants advanced. But local officials and the defense military later said the Taliban were dislodged from government buildings and troops had cleared most of the city. The Taliban is making gains in the country as the U.S. and allied troops pull out. The vast majority of remaining foreign forces in Afghanistan have left ahead of an 11th September deadline, leaving the Afghan military in sole charge of security. Security forces carried out airstrikes to clear militants, while officials said the special forces were used to remove insurgents from the government buildings they had briefly occupied. And that's the news at 2, 4 o'clock. Before we go, we take a look at the headlines once again to the hour. Haitian President Jovenel Moïse killed in an attack at home. Labor unions are threatened massive street demonstration post-pandemic and post-state of emergency. And internationally, Taliban battle their way into western Afghan city. I'm Stephen Cummings. Good afternoon. That was your 4 p.m. news on Isaac 98.1 FM, The Promise. Dr. Margaret Elcock drastically transformed the airwaves with prayer and worship, the first woman on the island to own a gospel station. Isaac 98.1 FM.
With changing economic times, the financial support of the Christian community is becoming more relevant. Finances are vital to enable ISAC to continue fulfilling its mandate locally, regionally, and internationally. The ISAC Fund is to allow local, regional, and international supporters to provide financial support to ISAC 98.1 FM and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission globally. When you support the ISAC Fund, you will receive discounts on all FBN products such as FBN Studios, Promise Store, Events, Isaac's Corporate Advertising Packages, plus a quarterly newsletter update on FBN's activities. You receive an annual thank you token and automatically join our radio birthday and anniversary club. Call and find out about our packages and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission. I support the Isaac Fund. I support the Isaac Fund. Call Helena at 357 4075 Wendy or Kieran at 662-8981 Monday to Friday between the hours of 9am to 4pm Be a part It's not all about you It's all about God Don't stop the music Play the music More of the music you love. Listening anywhere and everywhere on your number one family station, Isaac 98.1 FM. Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Allen. You are the light. You are the light. To my life, there is no way that I can see your light. Thank you, you are the light unto my feet. You light the way so I can see the way so I can see. So send your light and your truth, let them lead me. Bring me to your holy hill where is one. You brighten my pathways And your life will never fade All night and every day mm. Fixing my eyes on the prize And I won't fail And if I fall I rise again Again and again Ooh, There's nobody nowhere Who can take me from you Oh no I'm yours Somebody tell me How could I ever stop to follow your ways Your ways, your ways That's all I want to do And in that time back when you
time now on TNT. It is 16 minutes after the hour four. Welcome inside our number two. As we continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Alcock, we're going to be um, chatting with Miss Fern Chase. You guys remember Fern, yeah? We're going to chat with her in a bit. Keep it locked on. One morning at the test kitchen of the Kiss Factory, a junior inventor came up with a brilliant plan to defy the limits of the maximum chocolate capacity of a Kiss treat. He took chocolate muffin batter, loaded it with real chocolate chips, baked it to perfection, and then stuffed it with a heart of chocolate cream. Chocolate overload. Chocolate overload. He chocolate tasted overload. it and exclaimed, I did it! I did it! <laughs> the Kiss chocolate cream-filled muffin discover this delightfully delicious chocolatey creation today. Boodoo's for all your electrical needs before foundation to finish. What do you mean by before foundation? Oh, you think the contractor will operate the chop saw without electricity? They have LED light posts and temporary panels so they turn in night into day. Work could happen 24-7. The house will finish in a jiffy. But Boodoo's not easy. And they also have the best quality with the best prices. LED bulbs, 3-year warranty. Light and fixtures, 5-year warranty. For quality, quantity and the longest warranty, check out Boodoo's. Chase Village, Barabella, Deby and Dow Village. And you could... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to tell my husband about Boodoo's. Boodoo's Boodoo. Great news for CXE students who can now pursue a diploma in management and law foundation course that will qualify them to enter into any of the Anglo-Ruskin University BSc degrees in business management, human resource management, marketing, accounting and finance, banking and finance, international business management or the law degree. This program can be completed in under one year. Available full-time only Saturdays only or evenings only by 100% online learning with options to switch to on-campus learning. Over 98% of students that complete this diploma are successful in their degree programs. If you've just completed your CXC and wish to move to the Anglo-Roskin degree programs which are currently ranked in the top 1% of the best universities in the world by the Times Higher Education Global Ranking, please call 663-6681 or visit Sam's website www.samtt.com for more info. Dr. Margaret Elcock focused on Christian programming in 1988 and established Family Focus in early 1991. Once upon a time, in a land not so far away, everything was good. Everyone, old and young, was committed to making each other better, committed to nurturing healthy habits, loving relationships, and imagination. Many of them believed that the secret to their success was the milky milk magic of Dairy Dairy that nourished their bodies and minds. But do you know what else it was? What was the other secret to nurturing everything good? Knowing that it all begins with you. What good will you nurture today? Do it with Dairy Dairy and nurture everything good. Dairy Dairy, the milky milk. Hey guys, in this pandemic season, you can shop online and become the new norm. Yeah. Welcome to Super Quality Supermarket, new online store service at www.superqualitytt.com. Click, shop, and collect. Choose your products. Pay via Visa, MasterCard, all links. Collect at any Super Quality Supermarket. The ones that's closest within you, your range, yeah? And you can collect your items within 24 hours. No booking fees. Shop at www.superqualitytt.com. Let's create something super. Super Quality Supermarket. We are more than just a supermarket. Located at Trin City, Endeavor Road, Chaguanas, and Cash and Carry in Coover. Be sure to give them a call. 223-9715. And guys, do you need plumbing services? Then you can call General Pipe Cleaners and Plumbing Services at 775-2062. They are the only plumbing company that applies state-of-the-art technology to the plumbing industry in Trinidad and Tobago, such as hydrojetting services that can remove grease clogs from your pipes. What about those stubborn clogs? We are moving that out of the way as well. If you're in need of sewer camera services to investigate sewer lines that clog regularly, then look no further. Call 775-2062 now. Or visit General Pipe Cleaners and Plumbing Services on Facebook and Instagram.
Arise, Trinidad and Tobago, because a new life has come. The power of God is available to heal you at a special service with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Healing is a gift of God and comes by the Spirit of God. And when that gift is transmitted to you, it stays with you. Friday, July 9th to Sunday, July 11th from 1 p.m. A service will be broadcasted to you wherever you are. So register now at www.behealed.tv. Your faith is your sure reward. Customers needing to make payments over the counter, be advised that our tellers will be open to receive your mortgage payments from Tuesday, June 29th to Friday, July 9th, in Port of Spain from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily, in Arima, Chaguanas and Tobago on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The $10 fee for over-the-counter payments will be waived during this period. To make appointments, request letters, access other documents and other services, please visit our online customer service center at www.ttmf-mortgages.com. TTMF, from here to home.
of course, you're logged on to the Blessed FM. We're Isaac, 98.1 FM, The Promise. As we continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock. The fear is often now. Oh, yeah. Everybody ought to. Feed them another one, feed them another two. Look, tell them. Feed them another feed. What feed them another? Who supposed to really me? I don't know. Feed them another one, feed them another two. It's only re- listen, it's only what? recently I understood. What does that? It's only recently I understood or, or heard properly to understand. In come the thing call. Income the thing call? Yeah. Who say that? that that's a line uh, that they use. That say that? For instance, if I'm gonna um, br- if I'm gonna bring in a papa son. Income the one call, Papa San. Right, I yeah. understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thing call, right. Yeah, yeah. Not not feed not them thing. one, feed not them thing. two. Thing. 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 Feed them in there one, feed them in there two. You mean no. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Alright people, of course you're locked on Isaac 98.1 FM 27 after the hour of 4 And um You, you, you want to link this next guest with the song we'll play Oh yeah, 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 yeah Alright, go ahead, you know go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Running after his Chase his, Chasing yeah, running, after you He was r- running after us Chasing after us You could say Another word for run is chase mm-hmm. And at this moment He was chasing someone down To jump in on the inside And who, of course Was um, chasing Chasing I'm sure a couple of times by uh, the doctor herself. She would probably tell you about it when she's. I'm in, sure Professor would put both Peter and his jokes. Eh? <laughs> his style. His he style. Have, he have a style. Yeah. That is, and I was now saying to them that this is a professor's style mm-hmm. of an intro. So, you know. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, we have online the, the lady Fern Chase. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, Fern. Another student. Another student. Hi. Good afternoon, Fern. Hi, DJ Mickey. Hello. Blessed good the afternoon. Your man to you, name is Alan. Alan yes. the entertainer, yeah. Hi Alan, how are you? Not really young you know, but but yeah. She's right, you, you she's right. It. Flesh and blood then if you just you let the lady speak, please. Thanks, sir. Listen, Fern has a heart for, for children. Yes, and I'm a child of God. <laughs> Leave it right there. Fern Chase, you've been working with Dr. Margaret Elcock from the early days. Uh were you one of them that, that used to uh, carry her bags as well? First and foremost, let me please allow me to extend deepest and dearest heartfelt condolences to the entire Alcock family. Mm-hmm. Very, um, as J. Errol Lewis would say, it's a very odd place to be yeah. right now. You know, um, I do have my moments of full gratefulness for what she's done. Mm. And of course, we have our moments. Uh, all within an hour, sometimes all within one minute, of uh, that feeling of loss, that feeling of deep loss, because at the end of the day, she was my surrogate mother. Um, and I, I, the great Dr. Margaret Elcock, the legend Dr. Margaret Elcock, many of us, where we stand today, it is because mm. she allowed herself to be a willing vessel and said yes, and believed in us and poured into us so yes Mickey to answer your question I was mm. one of those young people nice. in my late teens who also carried her bag nice we saw a mother figure mm-hmm. you see we didn't want her to do anything extra that she wouldn't necessarily she didn't necessarily have to do let us carry the weight let us carry so that you can get a bit more sleep so that you can get a bit more time to prepare for your radio programs and or your recordings and or your meetings yeah let us carry a car and go get it clean let us the youth the young people the teenagers without looking for anything in return but her love and her affection her unconditional love Mm -hmm. and her affection to what us the youth her time which is something you cannot spend money behind. Her time. She gave us her time. Nikki, you know about that. Yes, I she do. She gave us her time. I want to share the very last WhatsApp message she and I shared. Or, or should I say I shared with her. After that, she was like, you know, so I'm able with all this text and back. Let's just call and talk. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, sure, sure. No worries at all. No worries at all. It goes as follows. I do hope you see your impact you've made. And this is who 
calling every day and I'm going to call the name. I'm going to call the name. I have to. After Jamie's death, she would call and she would check in on me and I would check in on her. How you doing? Yes, I'm good. Stay, stay alive. Stay healthy. Get better. Keep breathing. And that's how we end up our calls. Mm-hmm. Keep breathing. For me, Margaret, we need you around. We need you. There is much to be done still. Though you have done so much. Let me get to the last message. It goes as follows. I do hope you see your impact you've made. That's all your ripple. You believed in us and invested in us. And I know you fought many battles for us. The positive and powerful impact you've made to our lives. The double anointing. We walked in the God-given energy of that and moved mountains with that. We were mere vessels. Willing, happy, and able. Hashtag Mother Margaret. Always had her car full of any at any time of young people at any given time packed with youth going purposeful places you hear me packed with youth going purposeful places your energy continues Umi Margaret I honor you I celebrate you God's continued blessings upon you and with you and in you may your mighty father's healing touch and healing energy engulf you after which we spoke and she said thank you for and I, I I broke down to her what Umi is. You truly want to honor your mother. We don't call them mummy. When you look in the dictionary and you find out what mummy is, we don't want to wrap them up. We want to see them and bless them. The sound of Umi vibrates from our very soul. Umi. Each time we say Umi, we bless that mother figure in our lives up. Do you understand me? Yay? Yeah? Yay! So I give thanks that I was able to honor my Omi Margaret Elcock before she passed on. Hmm. I, I, you see, branding, in terms of branding, and I have to say this in terms of branding. We speak of branding and we speak of who did branding. We got our branding from Margaret Elcock, Umi Margaret Elcock. Look at her branding. When the double anointing and the bright side of midnight, when we were introduced to the audience on that night, glory, glory, when they had that live event, that is where Jamie and I saw what real, true, professional live event production is about. Yeah. And we followed suit after everything that we touched. When you look at branding, look at, I have the photo here. I understand I've not been, I have to apologize. I have not been on social media since I've been off since Jamie. I gave my tribute and so forth and I had to, I had to come off people. I had to come off. Mm-hmm. I know I have to go back on with Margaret now. I would eventually, I would before the week is out because I know there are many folks that's reaching out. However, Dr. Wendell Bob sent this to me which is the cover of our very first vision magazine, you see? And herein, and I, 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 I pointed this out to the old school group and I said, you'll see the branding on this magazine, Family Focus Broadcasting Network, Family Focus Intercessory Ministries, Fresh Fire, Kids Right, Sounds Glorious, The Bright Side of Midnight, The Vision, and of course, Youth and Focus. All brands, all subdivisions of the Broadcasting Network, the Family Focus Broadcasting Network. This woman had mighty vision and she saw it in us and she poured in us. We continue to be the living legacy of only Dr. Margaret Elcock. Yay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, You uh, gave us a lot of of history there, girl. Mm -hmm. A lot of history. I love the, 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 um, the statement or the, or the phrase going purposeful places. And, um, I'm telling you, yeah, packed I'm, with youth going purposeful places. Mm-hmm. That was only Margaret's car. Every single car she had, including the very first one, the big American made one, <laughs> where about 12 of us used to pack inside there. <laughs> we were talking about it in the old school group. Yeah. Man, I love that woman. I love that woman. Oh my God, I love that woman. The very last conversation we had, I said, only Margaret, 
I just had a shower, you know, when I had a shower, I was like, I'd be strong, like, she's like, she laughed, what is it for this? I said, you got to do it, because the vision was in you and implanted many years ago within you, so you got to choose that 12. I'm going to help you train them. Mm-hmm. The next 12, the bright side of midnight. I said, you understand the impact that you've had in 12 of these young people? I know, Jamie and I made up the last bunch. We made up the 12, you know? And they're the youngest of the bunch too. I know you made that up. However, there's something powerful with 12. Mm-hmm. Correct. <laughs> Correct indeed. Uh, Run with that. In, in t- yes, Fern. And in terms of your journey in life, I know that uh, you've had a journey going purposeful places, even outside of the vehicle, as you would call it. And, um, so, and, 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 you have, and again... You are teaching us as a nation to honor your mentors because you can see her, as I said, as your mother, as, your, as a surrogate mother um, and honoring her in life as well as in death uh, in terms of, um, tell us some more about the mentorship uh, between you and, of course, uh, Dr. Margaret. I will tell you what prepared me for that mentorship. You want to talk about honoring your elders? Mm-hmm. Let me share something with you. The great J. L. Lewis, the living legend, he's the one that prepared me for my next step and that audience with Omi Margaret, unbeknownst to him, unbeknownst to me at the time, because he was the one that took me under his wings in Renaissance and prepared me for what we would call in the future a lot of missionary work. Mm-hmm. Right. And to also stand before an audience and speak and also to have a lot of that management and leadership skills uh, having said that it then segued nicely and divinely into my audience before Omi Margaret I just wanted to, 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 to give her um, a sheet of people with an announcement a church announcement at the time I was a youth and I was a part of one of the um, event coordinating groups and everybody that I was doing um, I was a worship leader then I'm also doing church announcements and they said so let's go and go and give it to Let's go and give it to Margaret Elcock. Let her read it um, on the on the air. So I went, you know, that fateful Wednesday night, and I waited and I sat down as quiet as a church mark, as we would say. And uh, when she asked me a question, it's almost as if she, I just opened up and I just kept pouring. And she was like, "Wow, this little thing came to life," and therein began our relationship. And uh, that is when Margaret saw something. She said, something about you, something in you. Now, yes, she poured into me in Trinidad, and we all know that story with the radio, with the television, and so forth. And then she's the person that said to me, I got a scholarship from Canada to give to one of you all, and I want you to go. So I said, well, what kind of a scholarship is it? And she said, well, it's, you know, um, television production, television and radio production and broadcasting. And I said, oh, I said, well, you need to, I mean, like, well, how, how does that play? Uh, how does that play in, in all of this? And then she says to me, when I want you to do a, a kid's TV show. So I lean back in the chest and what, what do you mean? The only thing I know is to turn it on and turn it off the television. Tell me radio. Wow. I would I use anything <laughs> with my eyes closed radio. Yeah. You know, she says, well, you just finished a children's um, radio show. Yeah, you did an Easter special. And I saw how the sponsors um, reacted and how the, the audience reacted and even how, you know, those who took part reacted and so forth. Um, and you seem to have an act with children. So I want you to do a children's TV show. I said, yeah, but Margaret, I don't know. I don't I do anything I know is just to turn off the television and turn it off. What you're asking me? Oh. Hmm. She said, <laughs> she laughed about it. She said, go and pray about it. I know you could do it. You'll be fine. So I um, took a trip. I said, you know what? My vacation is up. Headed to my mom's in the States. And, you know, I just spent time before God. And I'm like, just download into me. Now, having done that, and being able to produce the kids via TV show on TTT, 7, 7 a.m. every Saturday morning, fresh. She introduced me to Stephen Leepong, who then taught me to do TV by the seat of my pants. So having proved to myself, I guess, for a year or maybe two or three by then, I think I was going into my third or fourth year. That is when she got the scholarship from Crossroads uh, International in Burlington, Canada. 
and uh, she said you know soon i want you to go and do this and i said okay fine i went and uh, it was never the same after that that relationship and that network with canada i came back to trinidad continue doing radio television live events productions i opened my production company just started to do um uh, music gospel music video um shows up the island because i was the affiliate for the caribbean right. and then i went to london i migrated to london and in migrating to london while i was living there canada reached out to me and they said hey so you remember you were one of the outstanding producers there blah 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 can you come and work with us and volunteer for a month in germany so i said yeah of course i remember this link and it all it all dates back to umi margaret alka yeah mm-hmm. right um because this is the scholarship she, scholarship sorry she has allowed me to you know take up and go take up you know residence for um uh, a semester in canada and, and and study the people thing so there i am fast forward i'm in london now I'm doing my thing I called and I said guess what happened Ray and they just called me from Canada and they're doing this thing in Germany it's called um Expo Hanover Expo in Germany and they wanted to come for a month went for a month and they were like all right so here's what we need for you to stay with us for the rest of the year we will pay you you will cover all your bills whatever whatever your salary is in London we'll do that now all of this is not possible had it not been for Umi Margaret Elcock and her networking what she networked and link up what she did back in the days and pour into me do you understand this okay fast yeah. forward came back to trinidad um opened um launched the pedal foundation one of my charters to pour into children which was that which was poured into me because i always believe in the principle of pouring into the young ones because i was bestowed that upon me yeah fast forward so i did my thing in um Uh, you know allowing god to use me as a vessel throughout the caribbean with this petals foundation and doing petals tv um developed a beautiful relationship with if not all most of the media houses in trinidad and tobago and also of the caribbean islands fast forward i'm in the states now i'm in atlanta and again a lot of the things and the windows that have opened for me in the media and entertainment industry in my travels all dates down so and I will always say that to her and she'd always giggle about it it all and I always say that I said only Margaret it all dates back to you mm-hmm. because you decided to invest in me a youth I want folks to understand this I ain't nothing without God please understand this I am but mere mush without God I ain't jack or Jill without God. It's about having that vessel and allowing your free will to allow that vessel to be a willing vessel for God to use. However, he choose whenever, he choose wherever, he choose and trust me. I had my kicking and screaming moments. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I had my hills and I certainly had my valleys. Don't get that <laughs> yeah. tied up in a knot. Mhm. However, you see, 2021, 2020 was the offset. 2021, <sighs> and with Jamie gone and Anomi Margaret gone, come on, come on, guys, come on. For those who not seen the picture, you better see the picture and see it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay. All right. A lot of us have grace right now. It's not about who who wants you to see where they want you to see. It's about where God wants you. God had me at certain places and certain places and certain positions just in time to whisper into the ear of man and to turn the, the hearts of men onto my direction. So me being a any panel judge or the factor Margaret Elcock, a Super Bowl TV host or the factor Margaret Elcock, um an any nominee for a documentary did back in 2015 or the factor Margaret Elcock. I got that invested within me hmm. from this woman who had a lot to pour and I am just I just want to show you all the power and the impact that this woman has had yeah I am but just one of the many vessels that she has poured into yay and you ain't started here stories yet and not just from me but from others as well that she's poured into throughout the the, the, the throughout time 
And what about those children throughout the years that I've caught into? Because hmm. a lot of them are adults now, grown, married children. Hmm? And now they're pouring into the generations. And it dates back to the time and the investment that Mrs. E had in your life. And now you're able yes, to impact sir. other lives as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, Mickey. Yes, yes sir, Alan. Yes. Yeah, I'm here, and and based on what you just said, I'm I'm actually here in that scripture verse that's screaming out: one plants, another waters, but God Go get, get gets the increase. Hmm. You understand? Go ahead. Yeah, and so yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and I I'm, and another one, mm -hmm. and another one. One can chase a thousand, and two can chase ten thousand. <laughs> I love that spiritual math. Wow. Give me divine math any day. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> and we are seeing it. We are seeing it. Mm -hmm. We are seeing it. Man, we thank you so very much, Chase, uh, for, 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 for coming in and, and pouring out and, and, you know, bringing such beautiful, wonderful memories. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and these are the kind of things that I think a nation could hold on to that will tell oh, us man, that... You all should hear the old school group. You think I'm bringing memories? <laughs> you all, you all, yeah, you all should hear the old school group. It's like, whoa. Wow. We'll definitely be hearing from yeah. them a little later on. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good to hear, yeah. you know, the things that was impl so implanted in, in you through Dr. Mark. Yeah. You're certainly sounding yeah. like one of her daughters. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah, truly a, a daughter of, of Dr. Margaret. And yeah. really want to say we yes, appreciate and thank you for taking this time to express such love and sentiments with us this afternoon what do you want to tell the nation honor. going forward do you have what do you have for the nation going forward do you think how do we move on from here uh let's hear from you in terms of you know prayer you can't you can't go wrong you can't you can't go wrong with prayer seriously prayer um and you see spending that time before the divine throne of the most high one true living god is extremely important that one-on-one -on -one time because at the end of the day i can't say well see what what's happening right now for instance when 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 only margaret is before the divine throne she can call us she can't point left or right and say well my husband lloyd or my daughter marissa or my daughter christiano jamie slyker she can't say well my wife keisha it, it's one-on-one -on -one. and i gotta do that do, do it this way because it's as real as it gets. It's one on one. Yeah. And we are going to be held accountable. For, <laughs> we are going to be held accountable for the time and the things that we've spent on this earth, on this plane, on this plateau. Mm -hmm. So moving forward and henceforth, we position accordingly. Yes, a reset has taken place. And since early last year, I called it a global reset. However, on many levels, not just globally, but also spiritually as well. And then our own finite lives internally with our health, our emotions, our loved ones. There is a reset that has happened. Let us pay attention to that. And let us every single day, every single day, give thanks for the life, the breath of life, as we would say, every single day, as we open our eyes, give thanks for the breath of life. Mm -hmm. And as you move forward, one foot in front of the next, let his lamp be your light as you move and you step into your purpose and walk purposefully every single step of the way from henceforth because that's where we kind of reach now i love you all i i, I leave you all with the love and the comfort and the peace that pass it all understanding nice. and peace. focus on purpose for so we will be held accountable Ashley, I love you all. Thank you Blessings. so very much. Blessings, Fern. Thank you for Thank sharing you with us. Much. Thank you. We just spoke with uh, the lady Fern Chase, uh, mm -hmm. sharing with us her memories. Uh, and uh, wow, wow, wow. A lot of history there, man. A Correct lot of history. Right. Yeah. yeah. She's, um, again, one of the daughters, one of the pioneer. One of the Spiritual daughters. Yeah. And, and, and a pioneer here, one of the pioneering soldiers of the early Definitely. FBN. And um, you know, Champion and I don't know if you guys would remember the, the the program we used to have back in the days called Talking Music. Fern Chase was responsible for that. Uh, right, she's responsible for a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, yeah, say, I'll say this right. Listening to food and and um, I can earlier Dyer um, and others. It, it's so important what you deposit in people. Mm -hmm. 
because they could easily deposit bad seed right as much as they could deposit good seed yeah yeah and depositing good seed is to me is deliberate mm-hmm. it's something that you had to be mindful of because you could have a bad day and say the wrong thing true and a bad seed is planted mrs z shared with us she never ever sends an email when she's upset good yeah you just back you relax yeah. gather your thoughts yeah and then you say what you need to that, say and we could apply that now to whatsapping you don't whatsapp when you're upset or send a voice note yeah yeah. or yeah. take any mood stop step back mm-hmm. i've been in a lot of conversations ready when i i want to say something have to delete yeah press delete before backspace, I would, backspace, I would, backspace backspace i would actually <laughs> something i remember at one time i got so angry i would message or text the entire st- the um the, the stench of my anger yeah in text mm-hmm. and when i'm finished delete it just to get it out just a vent yeah yeah but not send it you understand i've i've been the interceptor sometimes for some before i send it to them send it to me okay yeah vent here mm-hmm. but i don't think it'd be safe to vent there right you understand because we could easily plant the wrong seeds yeah in frustration and i think you know i think dr margaret ellicott now just think you could see and hear you understand that she was very deliberate in the seeds that she would have planted and then positioning people to grow as well yeah you understand yeah, as yeah. we hear in fun being able to be sent she would have Canada spotted spotted things in them Talent, purpose yeah purpose and like i said and help them. nurture those pu- the, One that thing, purpose in, in in that individual yeah if you want to if you want to if you want to change a society plant men <laughs> something like that <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh three minutes at the top we continue with the celebration of the life and the legacy of dr margaret elcock a little later on uh, just after five we're going to be chatting with natasha dillian kelly keep it locked on Mrs. E use radio programming, television production, and written publications to influence many listeners and viewers. Her messages encourage family members to build a nurturing environment for healthy self-esteem. Gone, but not forgotten. Dr. Margaret Elcock. With changing economic times, the financial support of the Christian community is becoming more relevant. Finances are vital to enable Isaac to continue fulfilling its mandate locally, regionally, and internationally. The Isaac Fund is to allow local, regional, and international supporters to provide financial support to Isaac 98.1 FM and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission globally. When you support the Isaac Fund, you will receive discounts Discounts on all FBN products such as FBN Studios, Promise Store, Events, Isaac's corporate advertising packages, plus a quarterly newsletter update on FBN's activities. You receive an annual thank you token and automatically join our radio birthday and anniversary club. Call and find out about our packages and assist FBN in fulfilling its vision and mission. I support the Isaac Fund. I support the Isaac Fund. Call Helena at 357. 4075 Wendy or Kieran at 662-8981 Monday to Friday between the hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Be a part. President, founder, CEO of Family Focus Broadcasting Network, Isaac 98.1 FM, Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, a gentle giant that never deviated from the call of God. You would forever live in our hearts. Thank you for leaving footprints that we can follow. It's a celebration of life. The announcers of Isaac 98.1 come together to give God praise. This Friday at 6 p.m. It's going to be a fantastic Friday evening. We remember Mrs. E, Dr. Margaret Elcock, and we all do it together. Tune in for a special broadcast, 6 p.m. this Friday. Join the announcers of Isaac 98.1 for a special program in memory of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, pioneer, mother, servant of God. 
Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. Four minutes to the top of the hour. Four minutes before we make our way uh, into hour number three. Of course, we continue the celebration of the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Alcock. We've got your 5 p.m. news coming up at the top. And uh, in the next hour, we're going to be chatting with Natasha Dillian Kelly. And a little later on, we're going to open the phone lines to the public as well, all right? I know uh, Mrs. E used to constantly play this song from Dr. Ron Cannoli. Do you guys remember this?
The board, management and staff of FBN Isaac 98.1 FM extend deepest and heartfelt condolences to the family and friends and to the entire FBN family of Dr. Elcock. Broadcasting live from 105 Woodford Street, Newtown, Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Your number one source for local, regional and international news on Isaac 98.1 FM. This is the 5 p.m. News. And in the headlines at 2, 5 o'clock, Trinidad and Tobago responds in shock at the assassination of Haitian president. Former energy minister speaks out on recent hike in oil prices. And internationally, Trump sues Twitter, Google, and Facebook alleging censorship. With the news in detail to 5 o'clock, I am Stephen Cummings. Good afternoon. Yesterday's rainfall, though heavy and persistent in some areas, did not cause massive damage to structures and property. This according to Mr. Jerry David, Senior Disaster Management Coordinator at the Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government. Speaking with the media earlier today, Mr. David said several areas across the country were surveyed. Well, we had uh, several reports of flooding, but when I when I look at my reports, it was not um, many. Um, it was inches of water came into some homes, and they were able to uh, get it out. Uh, we didn't have no inundation of any of the properties. Uh, we we started from Digo Martin, going straight up to San Juan. Uh, up to Mount Lambert, I have reports that we had uh, some places were affected by my flood waters. He did, however, speak of the threat of landslides. There are the different hazards that we have to look at too, and, and we hardly look at it, and that is landslides. And I have reports of landslides in La Saiva and some parts of Mount Lambert. Uh, if you see what's happening here, it means that the hillside areas are becoming saturated now because of the rainfall. And once that occurs, we, and rain continues to fall uh, in the north, then you will get the, 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 the hazard of, of landslides affecting homes. I mean, we had to um, assist with uh, someone who the, the land actually came down and into the home again and, and uh, pressing against the, 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 the home. And uh, this is just the beginning of the rainy season, no? This is the beginning. We get into the second month. There was also advice given on the importance of structural guttering. And then there's the problem of the issue and the challenge of people above uh, who live higher up on the hillside. Uh, they don't have any guttering. So that the rain, uh, the water from the, from the person who lives at the top falls on the, to the back of the home to the person who lives lower down. And then that person who lives lower down, the water from their roof goes on to the back of the home of the other one who lives a little lower down. So you see what's happening there. So it, it, there's a need that, uh, to put gutter in so that the water can be channeled to one side and the water goes down one, um, one drain system. Mr. Jerry David, Senior Disaster Management Coordinator at the Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government. Former Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarine says although there is an increase in the price of oil per barrel on the international market, he says that this may not have any real impact on the country at this time. Oil price jumped to its highest level in six years after talks between OPEC and its oil producing allies were postponed indefinitely with the group failing to reach an agreement on production policy for August and beyond. On Tuesday, U.S. oil benchmark West Texas Intermediate Crude Features traded as high as $76.98, a price not seen since November 2014. However, speaking on the TV6 Morning Edition program today, former Energy Minister Kevin Ranrein said that the hike in oil prices should be taken in context in relation to Trinidad and Tobago. We've had a significant slide in oil production in the last six or seven years. So we would not really benefit from, I mean, yes, there would be a benefit to that 57,000 barrels of oil per day, but it wouldn't be the sort of impact that we would have hoped for. We must also consider now that we are also importers of petroleum products, which, you know, the, the, the byproducts of crude oil, diesel, gasoline, and jet fuel, and so on. And uh, Paria imports those things, so Paria is going to have to find more more U.S. dollars import fuel for the country. So it's a double-edged sword. 
Um, but I would say that as oil prices increase, natural gas prices tend to also increase. The two are correlated. So it is going to benefit um, those companies that sell natural gas. So overall, it's a benefit for Trinidad and Tobago, but it, it has to be taken with a, a caveat that we do now import fuel. And that's the whole discussion happening in the country right now. Mr. Ramnarine is predicting continued high demands for oil, but remains concerned of the benefits to Trinidad and Tobago and government's ability to manage the sector. What has changed since October 2020 is that the price of oil has gone up. Uh, I think last year, October, when the budget was read, it was somewhere in the 50s. Now oil is about $74 a barrel and it's, it seems to be headed higher and higher um, because, as of course, the world economy begins to recover from COVID and major economies start to reopen like the US, the Western European economies and China and India and so on. You're going to have more people flying, more people driving, you know, more goods and services being traded. So more ships moving on the ocean. So demand for oil is going to increase and price is going to follow. So that is if we have a liberalized retail side of the industry, that is going to be reflected at the pump. Former Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarine. And it was only yesterday the Petroleum Dealers Association spoke on government's new fuel pricing regime. Robin Narine Singh, president of the association, called for more public consultation with dealers and the stakeholders. Well, my major concern is that the, we should have better consultation and have a perspective of what's, what's the end game, well, what's the goal, where, where do we want to go as a country, as a people, where, how, do you, how do you envisage the end game? And then we can always work towards it. But you see, they keep moving the goalposts and they keep doing things in a way that, you know, it, it, it creates uncertainty and business like a stable environment. Robin Narine Singh, president of the Petroleum Dealers Association. As the week goes on, celebration of the life and achievements of FBN founder, Reverend Dr. Margaret Alcock, continue with more persons sharing their special memories. Kirby Jackson, a former FBN employee and former lead editor of the once FBN Vision magazine, spoke this morning. Mr. Jackson said Dr. Alcock was one who entrusted leadership to others. One of the things I, I, I posted on my Facebook page um, when, when she died was that I, you know, people don't understand leadership. Mrs. Elcock, at the time, we're talking 26, 27 years ago, put a budget of back then 30, 14, maybe 50, I can't remember the exact amount, say uh, let's average about 40,000, dollars a month in the hands of two 19-year-olds. I was the editor of Division and her daughter, Marissa Elcock, was the co-editor. Yes, we had other people involved. We had Christian Printry, who was doing the printing, um, Dave Bostick. We had Marlon Nichols, who was the creative director as it relates to graphics and, and that stuff. And she, she never micromanaged. Kirby Jackson, a former FBN employee and former lead editor of the once the FBN Vision magazine, speaking this morning. And nurse Merle Ali, one of the early contributors to the once FBN Vision magazine, was also interviewed. She spoke of her interaction. She encouraged me to do a number of things that I never imagined, and I will never forget that. I mean, we were involved in the Fresh Fire program, we were involved in many interviews and on radio programs, and then with a vision magazine. I was one of the columnists with chatting with Nurse Ali, and it was all because of our dearly beloved sister Margaret. Mrs. Merle Ali. Stay tuned to Isaac via radio, online, or our social media platforms as we continue to celebrate the life of Reverend Dr. Margaret Alcock. And in some international news, a former U.S. President Donald Trump has announced plans to sue tech giants at Google, Twitter, and Facebook, claiming that he is a victim of censorship. The class action lawsuit also targets the three companies' the CEOs. Mr. Trump was suspended from his social accounts in January over public safety concerns in the wake of the Capitol riots led by his supporters. On Wednesday, Mr. Trump called the lawsuit a very beautiful development for our freedom of speech. In a news conference, Mr. Trump rallied against social media companies and Democrats who he accused of exposing misinformation. And that's the news at 2, 5 o'clock. Before we go, we take a look at the headlines once again to the hour. 
Trinidad and Tobago responds in shock at assassination of Haitian president. A former energy minister speaks out on recent hike in oil prices. And internationally, Trump sues Twitter, Google and Facebook alleging censorship. I'm Stephen Cummings. Good afternoon. That was your 5 p.m. news on Isaac 98.1 FM. The Promise. It's a celebration of life. The announcers of Isaac 98.1 come together to give God praise. This Friday at 6 p.m., it's going to be a fantastic Friday evening. We remember Mrs. E, Dr. Margaret Elcock, and we all do it together. Tune in for a special broadcast, 6 p.m. this Friday. Join the announcers of Isaac 98.1 for a special program in memory of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, pioneer, mother, servant of God. Mrs. E, as she was fondly called, dedicated her life to the service of God via ministry. She will be sadly missed, but she has gone on to be with her Heavenly Father. This powerful woman of God founded the Family Focus Broadcasting Network in 1991 and pioneered her vision to establish the first 24-hour gospel station in Trinidad and Tobago in 2002. We continue to celebrate her life today. It's not all about you. It's all about God. I can't thank you enough, Lord. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. You keep on blessing me now. Oh. Don't stop the music. Play the music. I'm gonna dance and praise it. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside. His name is Jesus. More of the music you love. Listening anywhere and everywhere on your number one family station, Isaac 98.1 FM. Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Allen.
You know it's only I could do that. Oh, play yeah. it and pull it up and run effects and thing over it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Mrs. Z playing this song on on one on on one of her morning shifts, right? Oh, we, yeah. Let me wait for Tiffany to switch the camera. Alright, so we so we back again on uh Isaac mm-hmm. <laughs> the Promise Facebook page. Mm-hmm. I walked in just to tell and on YouTube as well, FBN TV. I walked in to give Mrs. Z a message now. At this part. This part? Yeah. She's doing this. Yeah. Direct in the choir. Mm-hmm. Direct in the choir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know this is one of her jams as well that the she, she, she fondly orchestra. plays. Yeah. You could see Janelle doing that? No. No. You can't see Janelle doing that? Nope. <laughs> no way. And I see now. Not Soul Prune Janelle. Not, not, not Soul Prune Janelle. Not, not Soul Prune Janelle. <laughs> Like mm. Mm. Music. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but not that. Um, Alan, direct, Alan. Huh? Hey, <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel, man. He gone, he gone, man. For those who missed it, <laughs> Janelle walked up behind Alan. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, keep it locked on as we continue with the celebration. We're going to be chatting with Natasha Dillion Kelly in a bit. Keep it locked on. We're coming back after this. Morning. Can everyone see my screen? Good. Well, today we're going to be talking about the launch. Gosh, another online meeting. I could do with a cup of my favorite brew, but I can't leave now. Hmm, sounds like a good time to try this Kiss Coffee Cake with Caramel. One ultra grande caramel latte for Candice. Candice? Yes? Candice, please unmute your mic. Do you have the latest sales projection? It's a coffee lover's dream. The new Kiss Coffee Cake with Caramel. Savor the flavors of real coffee swirls with decadent caramel in every slice. Sip. <laughs> I mean, bite into one today. Register now for one-year MSc in Network Security or Information Communication and Technology, ICT, from Anglo-Ruskin University. Currently ranked in the top 1% of the best universities in the world by the Times Higher Education Global Ranking. Graduates of these programs are hired by the largest technology-based companies with regional and international officers. Skills acquired are among the greatest needed in the industry today, and graduates achieve employment worldwide. Secure your place in a future with skills that will always be in demand. For more information, visit their website www.samtt.com or call 663-6681. Thank you, Dairy Dairy. The milk that made us strong. The milk we love as children. The milk we love as children. That we grew up on. We do. So we can look to the future. Customers needing to make payments over the counter. Be advised that our tellers will be open to receive your mortgage payments from Tuesday, June 29th to Friday, July 9th. In Port of Spain from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. In Arima, Chaguanas and Tobago on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The $10 fee for over-the-counter payments will be waived during this period. To make appointments, request letters, access other documents and other services, please visit our online customer service center at www.ttmf-mortgages.com. TTMF, from here to home. Hey, it's your boy Jerry here telling you about my partner, Boots Boy. Listen, in spite of the pandemic, the man still have his place stuck up and running nice. He have wire panels, lighting fixtures, both domestic and industrial. He have the best in LED too, from foundation to finish, or like they say, from before foundation to finish. So make sure and visit Boots Electrical, eh? And all the locations sanitized proper. Don't forget to wear your mask. Boots and plain that. Visit any branch today. Shop and save at any location. Chase Village, Marabella, Davy, or Dow Village. Boots Electrical. Boodoo. Boom. Arise Trinidad and Tobago because a new life has come. The power of God is available to heal you at a special service with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Healing is a gift of God and comes by the Spirit of God. 
And when that gift is transmitted to you, it stays with you. Friday, July 9th to Sunday, July 11th from 1 p.m. A service will be broadcasted to you wherever you are. So register now at www.behealed.tv. Your faith is your sure reward. Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. And of course, you're locked on to the Bless FM. We are Isaac 98.1 FM, The Promise. As we continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, we have another one of her uh, spiritual daughters, is that safe to say, uh, on the inside, Natasha Dillion Kelly, and she warned us, do not make her cry. Good afternoon, mm-hmm. Natasha. Good afternoon, Mickey. Good afternoon, Alan. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. Mm-hmm. How are you? Mm-hmm. So listen, mm-hmm. listen, we're doing this, we're mm-hmm. doing this. You all are wonderful gentlemen, and I respect you all to be. Mm-hmm. So make sure I do not cry, okay? Well, our, our aim is to bring the fullness of the emotion out of you. Ooh, all right, that's good. <laughs> so tell us about uh, your early days of working alongside Mrs. E. You see, I'm ready to cry. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, well... For those who are really close to me, well, at me at one time, we were really buddies. We were really close. So yeah. you would know probably some of it. Not everybody at 98. But um, when I was about, I think it was 94. Yeah, in, in 94, I was working at um, Goodwood Racing Service. Yeah, I was working there. And um, I said to myself, because I was young in the faith and all of that. And I said, listen, I don't want to do this job anymore. I want to do something that will honor God um, that I don't feel convicted about. And you know those times when you're, you're young in Christ, you're on fire, so you want to do everything right? Mm-hmm. I challenged myself and I challenged God and I said, listen, I'm going to leave this job and in 30 days, I will have a new job in time to pay my rent. You know, and I used to listen to Family Focus at the time and I heard they were advertising a broadcasting course. So I said, listen, um, that sounds good. Maybe I should go try out this broadcasting thing. So um, I actually went to um, I came to Park Plaza office, and I said I wanted to see um, Mrs. L. Park, you know. And guess who was at the front desk? Nikki, you can guess. Guess who was at the front desk? I'm tempted to say yes. Marissa, but I'll say Patrick. No, it was Hansel. <laughs> Hansel! So she was the receptionist and she was also Mrs. Elcock's assistant at the time. Okay. This woman gave me so much trouble. Normal thing. Normal thing. (laughs) Three days. I came every that week. I said, listen, I'm going to meet this lady. All right. Um, I remember having this sleeveless blue and black checkered top. And I used to be, you know, family focus office, park, class. Listen, it was cold. So I have on this thing and I am freezing. And this girl is, uh, this, I'm sorry, do you have an appointment? And she there, you know, she always protecting Mrs. Elka. God yeah. bless her heart. Yeah. But at that time, I really, I really didn't think that way, you know. And then on the fourth day, I went again. And I was so like, God, I have to see this lady. And... Michelle Williams was sitting at the front desk that day. And um, she's like, hi, how can I help? I said, well, I've been trying to get in contact with Mrs. Elcock. I'm very much interested in their broadcasting course and whatever. And she said, um, do you have an appointment? I said, no, I've tried for the entire week. And she's like, okay, hold on a minute. And she went inside and spoke with Mrs. Elcock. And she said, okay, do you have a meeting a little later on? But come, she said, she will see. You. And I went inside of there and listened to me. God. You're not helping. Take your time. Okay, Take your time. Um, so when I yeah, when I went in, she was sitting at her desk and she got up as I came through the door and she's like, Hi and she gave me this hug as if she we met before. Yeah. And she said, um, you know, what? how can I help? What, what, what you What you want, you know? And I told her what my interests were. I told her where I was working. I told her, this lady just found out about my entire life, like in 15 minutes. She just sat there listening and asking me all these questions and stuff. And she said, okay. She's like, okay, well, 
um, I'll give you more information, all right? I'll keep in touch with you and stuff. And But be encouraged and, you know, all that sweet thing. And I will never forget that hug she gave me. And she was, she had on this perfume. And the scent remained on my clothes. So, um, a week later, I'm not really expecting much, you know, I wasn't. And she gave me a call. And she said she'd like me to come to the office. Actually, someone called and left a message for me to come to the office. And... I went to the office and when I went to the office, she said, yeah, Mrs. Delco would like to meet with you. Went in her office again, another 20 minutes or so in this cool office. And then she said, listen, you remind me so much about, um, about, um, this other person named Natasha. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Guess who now? So she's like, listen, that, there's that strength and that determination. And, and I see so much inside of you. And she started to talk all of this. And she's like, yeah, and you know, this person's name is Natasha too. So she wow. find I remind of Natasha long. Mm-hmm. So she said, um, listen, come, I want to show you something. And she brought me outside in a little small office there. And she said, listen, this is a desk here and there's a phone. We don't really have much right now, but um, I want you to work with us. I want you to do marketing. So I was like, marketing? How do you spell? What's that? How do you spell that? And she laughed. She said, listen, you can do it, Natasha. Wow. I see it in you. You can do it. And she um she just believed the one word all of us who come on here who could identify with that experience with Mrs. Elko, we can all say she believed. She believed in us. Yeah. And about a, a year or so after hard work, after beat calling and and long and all of that, I became the top sales rep. Mm-hmm. And um that's where it started. That's where it started. I'm glad that you touched on that because um, I remember in the days of um, 98.1, both you, Natasha DeLeon Kelly now, and Natasha mm-hmm. Long were competing toe-to-toe to being the sales mm-hmm. reps, the top sales reps of, at, at the station. So, Mrs. He saw yeah. something in you. You went in to, yeah. to do the broadcasting course and, and she saw uh, the determination within you. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Um, and um, she connected me with Long. We became very close. Um, Long was like a mentor. Mm-hmm. Uh, learned a lot um, from her and all of that. But wow, well, Mrs. E, there's so many. Um, I don't know. Was I considered like one of the problem kids in there? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I, I wouldn't know. We had a lot of um, we had a lot of clashes. Um, not i didn't think it was bad i just had i was so protective of her yeah and then i always go back to her until how she was when I, I i i came there the first time yeah i loved her so much and i would always say mrs a i would take a bullet for you i, I tell her that i used to tell her that all the time mm. and we had moments where i would i would be so protective of her sometimes people would come there and i'm like mrs e that that's just not that little friend that's the they have an agenda there. And we would have these little moments where, you know, Natasha, stop it. But the thing about Mrs. Elcock, you know, the scripture says to whom things are pure, all things are pure. Yeah. And that's it, Mrs. E. Everything was pure. Her heart was so pure. She didn't see, she was not a foolish person. Mm. She was not a, she was very wise. But she saw things so pure, you know? Yeah, yeah. Tell us what are some of the things that you 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 would have learned or taken away from your interaction with Mrs. E that you now implement in your life. Hmm. Nikki, almost everything that um who I am today, you know, um, I got so angry. Someone called me yesterday, and sure was with a good heart, you know, but they said. I don't like that post that you put, you know, you're not an orphan. You're not an orphan anymore, whatever. But you know, the Bible says that um, we don't grieve as others do because we have a hope. And I I thought it was kind of insensitive because I wanted this time to, that's just my way of just letting it out and just being able to grieve during this time. Um, I thought it was insensitive. Um, I have learned so much from Mrs. B. So much for Mrs. E. Um, 
I mean, I didn't know who I was at that time, you know, still trying to figure out hmm. who I was and telling me, listen, you can do this. Everything that I did, everything that I did, I, she gave me that confidence to do it. Yeah. You were- Whether it was sales, especially sales. Sometimes when we get a call out, Guys, we need to meet this quota this week. We have salaries to pay, you know. Um, yep. It kind of drove me to to really want to get that money. Yeah. It wasn't even about it wasn't even about like me, you know. It was, and a lot of people didn't know. They just they probably missed. And I was so passionate, you know. But it was all about. Showing her, listen, I can do this. Wow, I can do this. Because I spent so much time in our office that when we reach a point till Wendy never even talk anymore, she like just watch me, like, hmm. <laughs> you know, I used to always be in Mrs. Alcock's office yes. sharing personal moments, hearing her heart, and um, you know. One thing she would always say is, Natasha, I'm so proud of you. God, I'm going off from what you asked me, but. It's like so much inside of me, you know. Well, you're on, you're still on the key. You're still on point. You're not off at all. She will always say, Natasha, um, I'm so proud of you. You have your family now. You have your own family. And hmm. God, she knew where I started from. And she never gave up on me. She always encouraged me. So sales was like a, a passion for me because of her. She gave me that confidence events everything that i do she gave me that confidence you know so yeah you know we were lamenting earlier that she had this spirit of discernment as to who could be uh, who who should be handpicked to be on the team and knowing that she came in to be a part mm-hmm. of radio itself to be an announcer she saw something else and she said that fire deserves to be placed within marketing and sales and um, of course you saw and i think that is that is uh that that is where you could trust leadership even when leadership mm-hmm. sees something in you that you didn't ever really see in yourself and really true to form it came to life and it, it, it awakened a different side of you so you know and i guess and i guess that will lend to that will lend to your trust and your love where you could actually turn and say what you said earlier i, I will take a bullet for you now uh, you know, yeah, so and she actually she actually gave me the opportunity to be on radio. I was on Bright Side of Midnight. Who haven't passed to Bright Side of Midnight? I mean, um, I was on with Patrick, you know, but it was not a passion for me. Um, wow! Now to think of it, you came into to the company to do the broadcasting course, and then uh, your your passion was redirected to to sales. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow! Wow! Hmm. All right, as we as we look to wrap up, is there anything else you you, you want to touch on? Oh my God! Um, mom, so much moments with her. I was sharing with the the old school group today that um I remember this one moment we were going to do a recording at Miracle Ministries, and um I was driving. Colin Hills was in the back of her old Laurel. And I'm on the bus route, but some people are like a real superhero, you know, driving <laughs> on the bus route. Yeah. Mrs. P, one of the few people had those PBR passes at that time. And I'm driving, I'm while driving, um, I got this bad drive from someone. Just came from one side, came straight across the car. And I am thinking, my God, I have this precious cargo. So I'm thinking, Lord, I had to answer to the whole of Trinidad and Tobago. That's what I'm studying. Mm-hmm. So she's there, and I'm, when this car came across, everything was like so, like in slow motion. So I'm thinking, God, I'm looking at her foot to see if I hit because I know we were going to hit. If the car is going to come back on her feet, if I'm starting to pull to the right, I was a, a maxi was coming this way. Yeah. So I, was, God, Mr. D, we're going to hit, and she's like Natasha, and she screamed out, and we hit this man, threw him on the next side, and so when we stopped, um, thank God for the laurel. You know nothing could mash up a laurel, right? <laughs> so we came onto the car. I'm like, Mrs. E, okay. She's like, oh, I'm fine. Police came. We went 
while at the station, she was like, um, you all finished? She's asking the police this. You all finished? Like, no, 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 just a few more questions. They're talking to me. I'm still a little shaken up and stuff. And then she came back again. Okay, you all finished because I need to leave now. She had to do a recording. She's telling the police wow. she needs to leave now she because she has a recording to go on. Wow. Her. Focused. <laughs> Very focused. You know, and um, <laughs> Fulon was saying, you know, that's how focused and serious she is, you know, on what she really wants to do. Yeah. And that is one of the things with Mrs. E. I also remember when 98.1 was with that process. My God, listen, I remember we were on the grounds. There's nothing there. Those intercessors, God bless them. God bless them. And we there on the floor, just walking around in circles and praying, and there was nothing, absolutely nothing there. And we just speaking this building into existence, the equipment into um, existence. And the faith, this lady, God have used her so much to like increase my faith to see what this this whole Christian walk is about, you know. And even though I got saved in ninety three under Eternal Nelson, ninety two, ninety three, in two thousand and two, when Isaac came into being my faith skyrocket it's like wow when you look back at the whole journey you recognize yeah this is really happening you know this was this didn't just happen by chance this was fair person at the right time into your life sometimes you're going through a season um sometimes we're going through different experiences and we ask god you know why how whatever but once you position yourself he always brings someone in at that right moment to transform and to bring that purpose that he placed into your life into existence, you know? So that's, that, that's all I could say, you know? Um, wow. and I, I just I, hold up my own memories. Um, we always kept in touch. When Jamie passed, I think she called everyone, you know? <laughs> so she called me till we spoke and... God, I can't believe. Can't believe. Hmm. And I know this is just uh, a tip of the iceberg of the many fond memories that, that you would have shared with Mrs. E. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing with us uh, some Thank of the you. stories that you have. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. Um, Alan. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You all you did good. It. You I made it. Really you made it. You made it. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Okay, yeah. guys? Yeah. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves, okay? Blessings, bless you Natasha. as well, Natasha. Okay. Thanks for dropping by. So we just spoke with Natasha Dillion Kelly. Coming up next, uh, we are going into our PowerPoints feature. We do apologize for the late start. 20 minutes to the top. Uh, I wonder if we could probably get time to squeeze in some calls. We're going to try. All right, keep it locked on as we celebrate the life, the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock. Nine. Promise. Join the Open Bible Standard Church's second global virtual concert of choirs on Saturday the 17th July at 1 p.m. Featuring choirs from Trinidad and Tobago, Canada, South Africa and India. Streaming on Instagram at OBSCTT underscore choirs. On YouTube at OBSCTT choirs. And Facebook on Open Bible Concert of Choirs. Join our second global concert of choirs on Saturday the 17th July at 1 p.m. as we speak to nations. Hi, I'm Pastor Mark David. I welcome you to today's edition of PowerPoints as we talk about faith that the devil fears. You know, 1 Peter chapter 6 tells us that we need to resist the devil steadfast in faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplishing our brethren that are in the world. We indicated in our last broadcast that the devil is our adversary. He's a slanderer and a false accuser. He stands before God and he reminds God of our sins. But we need to have faith in what Jesus has done for us. That he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And therefore all the accusations that Satan hurls against us are false. In addition to that, he moves around as a warring lion seeking whom he may devour. The roaring lion is a picture of anger, strength, fierceness, and cruelty. Satan roams about warring in anger and cruelty, seeking someone to attack and devour. 
Now, how can he devour someone? Jesus tells us that a person who does not trust and follow God as his father is actually following the devil as his father. In other words, Jesus says that all unbelievers have the devil as their father. In John 8, 44, he says, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He who was a murderer from the beginning and he abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he's a liar and a father of it. The devil devours and consumes man by leading him to do four things. The devil leads us to worldliness. He tempts us to give in to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's what 1 John 2, 15, 16 tells us, that we need to not love the world nor the things that are in the world. Because if we love the world, the love of the Father is not in us. And he identifies the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life as being of the world and not of the Father. So as the devil is against the Father, he's the enemy of the cross. He's the enemy of believers. He tries to lead us into wilderness. The scripture also says that the devil is a murderer. So therefore he destroys life. He's behind the murder of human life and he's behind the loss of people experiencing real life here on earth. That's why Jesus said, I came to give you abundant life. The devil destroys life and all abundant living when he he can, you know, destroy our love, our joy, our peace, our patience, our gentleness, our goodness, our faith, our meekness, our discipline. Look at how he operated in, in Job's, Job's life. He challenged God and he says, does Job fear you for naught? Have you not built a hedge around him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the works of his hands. His substance is increased in the land. But if you put forth your hand now and touch all he had, he will curse you to your face. So Job, the devil challenged Job's integrity. He tried to rob him of his wealth. As a matter of fact, he robbed him of his wealth. He caused the death of his children and he destroyed his health. He is a destroyer. God is not the father of murder. The devil is. And they who commit murder are children of the devil. You know, but Jesus says that if you hate your brother, you are also guilty of murder. And if you're unforgiving to your brother and you come to the altar to offer a gift, you need to leave your gift before the altar and go your way and first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. He says, agree with your adversaries quickly. The spirit of murder is demonstrated by anger, bitterness, enmity, and uncontrolled malicious attitudes desiring a person's destruction it's demonstrated when we envy and we kill someone's happiness we demonstrate it when we strike out at a person and we slander and malign their character and we speak ill of them and we destroy their image when we act like this we're demonstrating the character of the devil he's a murderer and he's out to destroy so he leads to wilderness and he destroys life but he's also a liar in whom there is no truth. He leads men to reject the truth and to lie and deceive. You know, the Bible tells us that in, in, in 2 Corinthians 4, 3 to 4, that if our gospel is hid it, and, and to them that are lost, it is because the God of this world has blinded their minds so that they would not believe in the light of the glorious gospel. In 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15, he talks about false prophets and deceitful workers and how Satan himself will be transformed into an angel of light. The devil is our enemy who seeks to devour us and we need to resist him steadfastly. In the next broadcast, we'll talk about how we can resist him. I'm Mark David and this has been PowerPoints from the Open Bible. Join the Open Bible Standard Church's second global virtual concert of choirs on Saturday the 17th July at 1 p.m. Featuring choirs from Trinidad and Tobago, Canada, South Africa and India. Streaming on Instagram at OBSCTT underscore choirs. On YouTube at OBSCTT choirs. And Facebook on Open Bible Concert of Choirs. Join our second global concert of choirs on Saturday the 17th July at 1 p.m. as we speak to nations. President, Founder, CEO of Family Focus Broadcasting Network, Isaac 98.1 FM, Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, a gentle giant that never deviated from the call of God. You would forever live in our hearts. Thank you for leaving footprints that we can follow. It's a celebration of life. 
announcers of Isaac 98.1 come together to give God praise. This Friday at 6 p.m. It's going to be a fantastic Friday evening. We remember Mrs. E, Dr. Margaret Elcock, and we all do it together. Tune in for a special broadcast, 6 p.m. this Friday. Join the announcers of Isaac 98.1 for a special program in memory of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, pioneer, mother, servant of God. Music, laughter, and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. Yep, of course, you're locked on to the afternoon drive. DJ Mickey alongside the man Alan, the entertainer. It is 13 minutes to the top. We're going to open the phone lines in a bit. Uh, give you an opportunity to call in, all right? Of course, when you call in, please remember, keep what it is you have to say, your sentiments, under one minute. We're going to open the lines after this. The board, management and staff of FBN Isaac 98.1 FM extend deepest and heartfelt condolences to the family and friends and to the entire FBN family of Dr. Elcock. It's a celebration of life. The announcers of Isaac 98.1 come together to give God praise. This Friday at 6 p.m. It's going to be a fantastic Friday evening. We remember Mrs. E, Dr. Margaret Elcock, and we all do it together. Tune in for a special broadcast, 6 p.m. this Friday. Join the announcers of Isaac 98.1 for a special program in memory of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock, pioneer, mother, servant of God. Music, laughter and fun on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. Yep, you're on the afternoon drive with DJ Mickey and Alan. Uh, we open the phone lines next, 6281981, 6281981. And of course, if you want to send your voice notes, you can send it to us via WhatsApp to... Uh... Okay. Tiffany! <laughs> Alright, so we're set. You can send your voice notes via WhatsApp 2751981. Of course, all calls, all WhatsApp voice notes, we ask that you keep it under one minute as we continue to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Margaret Elcock. Someone you could get on the inside this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's see on the line. Uh, hello, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, caller, you there? Yes, hello, good morning. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> you're, uh, you're in Alaska? You're not even... <laughs> it's a long time now. I'm trying to get to all you. That's a long yeah. time. I'm not a long time. Yeah. You're on the inside. I can't go to get you, right? Mm-hmm. Now, listen to me. I am a mother mm-hmm. and everything. But I was trying to explain. I said I wanted all of to play in the in all I had a recording, but the time has come. It's yeah, the montage. Time. Right. I said, I wanted all of because I keep getting that every time all the call and I say, Holy Spirit, why you want me to listen to it? He said, listen and keep and listen attentively. Mm. That is before anything happened, man. I said, okay. So I listen. I said, Holy Spirit, what is this all about? He said, I said, listen. I said, okay, okay, okay. Wow. I said, you listen. I said, the time has come. The table has set. I said, okay, right. I said, what is this you want to tell me, Holy Spirit? He say, I said, listen carefully. I said, okay, I'll listen again. I tell him all the it again. And he, every time he tell me, all he will play it, right? He say, okay. I say, she say, no. Then after when I get it, he say, no, they're preparing all year. they prepare. She are preparing the world. What will happen? If he didn't want all to get a shock, he don't want us to get a shock. 
I mm. said, okay. I said, what it is? I said, well, tomorrow. You've um, got just a couple yes. more seconds, Carla. Pardon? You have a couple more seconds. We want to squeeze in um, okay, a lot more people. That. And he t- she what he wanted to tell us all us uh, stuff, preparing us to who he said wanted to pair us or not to get a shock that what happened. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I listen to him and when I get on I say, Well, okay, any minute, any time, all right, Holy Spirit are uh, under where, whatever, he then he stopped talking to me. Hmm. So she was always preparing us to know that she's going. Yeah. But we uh-huh. didn't understand what it was all about. Yeah. yeah I said, But why me? He said, because you the only one that's listening carefully. Mm. I said, okay, Holy Spirit, and that was it. Mm. Thanks so very much okay, for sharing. See that? Yes, my dear. Blessings to you. Thank you. You take care. Okay, God bless okay. you. Thanks so okay, very much bye. for your sentiments. 6221981. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, DJ Mickey and Alan. Good, good, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Um, okay, I have known uh, Sister Margaret for a very long time, since in the 90s. Um, and listening to her, she make me uh, turn around my life because I was a happy person. And just putting on the radio and listening to her, how she used to talk and express herself and things there, mm-hmm. I turn around my life, but I didn't get baptized. At that time there, I used to, used to go to many churches and things there. And I used to listen to her every day and say, this is a true woman of God. So I want to say to the... Elcock family, I want to tell them not how to do moon as men without hope, but moon that one day that they will see their loved one, Sister Margaret, because she leaves a legacy. So, okay, I will say us to follow. And I pray God's strength and health over all you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God keep all you. I pray that He make His face to shine upon all you and give all the glory and strength. Strength. Okay, um, this tune this morning come to me, but I didn't get through with um, Pastor General. Through it all. Through it all. I wouldn't sing it, but I will say it with through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. Yeah. And I know that Sister Margaret trusts in God in her whole life. And may God rest her soul in peace in the name of Jesus. This is Beverly from Indian Walk. Hi, right, Beverly. Right. Thanks so very much, Beverly. Thank you, Beverly. Going to squeeze in one more you. call before we look to wrap up. Good afternoon, caller. You're live on the air. I lost that one. One more caller, 622 if you want to call in and uh, share with us uh, your sentiments, your fond memories as we celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Dr. Something. Margaret Elcock. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, DJ Nikki. I was trying to listen to what the lady was saying about the Holy Spirit. I was trying to cut you for Anyhow, I just want to say, um, I'm sorry that what, what happened to Margaret Alcock, I really used to truly, truly enjoy her on a Sunday morning when she came out, she was really an inspiration and encouragement, her words were really anointed words that sometimes you're going through something and you know, at that moment she says something and you feel, you know, you're encouraged and you, you know, you with that, with that, you know, it, it takes you through whatever trial, tribulation you're going through. So I'm so, I'm grateful for her and I, I know that one day I will see her um, when that time comes to when we reach the heaven. So take care. All right. Thank you so very much. Blessings to you. I like probably read that one from Wendy. Yeah, Wendy saying, a mighty woman of God, gone but not forgotten, will surely miss, miss her. Blessings to the 98.1 FM family. Thanks so very much, Wendy. Thanks so very much for your calls and for your sentiments, my dear friends. Uh, you, you don't have to stop here. So we got to wrap up. Yeah, because you can probably tune in a little later on where you'll get another opportunity to so with, probably, with Chris J, yeah. He's so going to be opening the lights as well. And stuff. So DJ Patrick coming. as well. Keep it coming. We welcome it all. Yeah. Um, we mourn with you and we thank you for mourning with us. Let's mourn together in yeah. this season. Yeah. Um, so at this point in time, this is where we land the plane, boys. Uh, it is, you know, just fly so fast. Mm-hmm. Many thanks for all those who, you know, drop by via the Zoom and WhatsApp. Uh, it's been very good. Kern is in the building, of course, to do his thing. Yeah. Um, the slingshot man is here. Yeah. <laughs> Another professor finished. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You like me, professor, too much. I just learned, I just yeah. learning, I glean in from him. Now. So we, we gotta go. Let's wrap up, man. So, you know, Let's in the good up. times. Remember going in the bad times. See God at all times, my dear friends. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Thank you, DJ Mickey. And thank you, Alan. Of course, you could join me. I'm going to be back together with Lady J on Friday. Going to leave you with another one of Mrs. E's anthems. You guys remember this song? One of her favorite hey, jazz. Sister D, not jumping. Sister D. Sister D, blessings you. to you.
Gonna leave you with this one. Of course, we continue to spread the gospel of Christ right here on Isaac 98.1 FM. Leaving you in the capable hands of the man Chris J. Keep it locked on. There is a